All right, so I got the trailer. Um, better experience this time at U-Haul. And, you know, it was helped me right away. The equipment was ready. It was, I did the online check-in, so it was a very quick process. Um, and I, before I left, I decided to just go ahead and, um, since last time I towed with this, I know people have commented, locking nut is right there. I took that off. Um, you need like, a, I think it's a 22, or a 21, 22 with socket. I have that socket and you just use that and use a wrench to hold that in there and screw right off. So anyway, I moved that in the correct spot. So, um, get the car loaded and yeah, it's windy. I hope that mic doesn't pick up the wind. And if you can tell, the car has the coating is dry. This is the temporary film. So we'll see how that holds up on the track. All right, guys, get the car loaded. So what happens is just as my tire clears this bar, it lifts, it clears this just in the time. But I'm worried if it just, just slamming down. And just like that, we are loaded up. I'm just gonna drive around the block, make sure everything's good to go. And we'll head out in the morning. All right guys, just like that, we're rolling out. It's five o'clock in the morning, right on time. So I'm using the GoPro Hero 8 with the built-in microphone um my buddy dewey just got here with this uh modified civic it is a um civic eg hat this is a hatchback and he has a motor swap it's like a integra type r motor and we're meeting up with my buddy with the mercedes c63 amg so it should be fun Video, people ask me about a mile per gallon so I'm gonna cycle through that now and I'm just gonna reset it I'm gonna clear it out that way I get a full like clean reset okay now we'll see what I'm really going for towing instead of being average for my non towing mile per gallon I get on the highway and I'll report back to you uh, right now I'm just traveling about 48 miles an hour Everything's smooth. I have a little vibration from the trailer. I didn't get this the last, with the last trip I did with obviously a different trailer. You haul, you don't know what you get, but this trailer seems to vibrate a little bit more. But, you know, I pulled over, checked everything out. Everything looks fine. All right, get on the highway.
like the brakes on this one compared to some other U-Haul trailers I've had. Uh, the brakes seem to activate appropriately. Uh, some other ones I just feel like they it was almost like a on-off switch. These seem to be more in line with what the tow vehicle is doing. Alright, pick up speed and wait till I get straight away and I'll start accelerating right now at 45 miles an hour. Especially my 
enclosed uh, cargo trailer. I think my enclosed cargo trailer picks up more. Um, I, I almost had to disable it, but with this trailer, I don't have to disable it very much. And I programmed this button here in the center. So one touch, no going to the settings. Um, I have it set so if I hit this, blind spot is automatically off. The only thing that stays active is for collision and pedestrian warning. Just, just a quick, quick shortcut instead of going through a menu and a sub menu to try to turn it off on driving. Just a quick, real quick thing to turn it off. Um, is it like a nuisance or anything like that? Um, but it's not right now, and that's been pretty good. So I'm gonna activate that again. Mercedes right there. I don't know if you can tell. I'm, I'm gonna get out of the car and show you.
towing set up. You guys see my car plenty of times, but you probably never seen this one. I'm about to ask, I'm gonna see if I can review his car. I need this car, or I need to review this on my channel really to see what this thing can do. This car is clean. I don't know if you guys remember, I used to have, well, you probably don't remember because I never did a YouTube back then, but I used to have a C63. Um, had not this style, but this style before then with the 6.2 V8. Um, he did his a little differently. I think because he had to clear these things here. Where's Chris at? I don't know. There's Dewey right here. Hey, what's up? Say what's up, Dewey. What's up, man? Let's check out your car, man. We got a NOS fogger, we got an AIC controller, we got uh <laughs> Man, this thing just big. Or a bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's like I said, it's tall. Yeah, it's tall. So it's hitting this. You had to go here else, there's no hood. Huh? You had to go there's like no hood on this car. I can, yeah. It's very clean in here. Because that's the coilover, K tune coilovers. You know, this, this is very tastefully modified. I like, I like how it's not over the top, it's very clean. Even the paintwork on this thing is it's clean. It's like that the uh, original Type R wheels on this. It's first time tracking, so we'll see. See how it does. Get a chance to rip it. So, I'm not gonna tell you what engine it is. How about this? You guys see it in the description you see it in the description you'll be able to pick it out what's up man oh there's chris <laughs> what's up chris oh oh no okay don't ice cubes go to waste this is chris this is the one with the mercedes <laughs> i like your uh your magnetic decals that actually are magnetic yeah are your yours not magnetic no, see, uh, real race cars have aluminum bodies. <laughs> so. <laughs> this guy, he, he gonna clown me on my own channel. We'll see, I'll show him race car and what's gonna track. How about that? Yeah. I'll, sh I'll show him. Uh, some, okay. What'd you say? <laughs> I said I brought some sandwiches. <laughs> okay, brought some turkey with, with mustard and mayo, a little bit of pepperoni, okay. pepper spread. Oh. But then I, yeah, and I, and I was like, I better make a peanut butter and jelly for Eddie. <laughs> so I made, I'm a picky uh, eater. Oh, <laughs> All right, and we're rolling out again. Seven miles to go. Mount Brigalon dropped a little bit. That last thing I was getting on the highway. Uh, There's a semi coming up. He couldn't switch lanes to the left. I needed to gain some speed. Um, I didn't like, I probably gave it 30 for 30, 40 percent of the throttle and it didn't kick down. It just uses torque and I was up to 70 miles an hour in no time. I mean, it's nice to have all this power and 
reserve when you need it. I really like that. Like I said, I, the more and more I tow this thing, the more I drive this thing, I was like, I don't really necessarily need a truck. I mean, I said, would a truck do better with this? Probably. But do I need one? No. I mean, this, this thing is just fine. The benefit is if I want to take passengers with me, um, they're comfortable. I have room, covered room in the back um, hatch area. Whereas, you know, the truck, you're going to have an open bed unless you put a cap on it. But then at that point, you know, you're kind of like, that's what be, you know, there's other SUVs out there that can do the job too. You know, Chevy Tahoe. Toyota Sequoia, you know, those, those are like almost equivalent to like half ton total in their body on frame vehicles. Track they 
insurance? I sure do. You will reach your destination area in 700 feet. We have here M4. Is that a CS? back from the track guys hope you enjoyed the video had an awesome time check out my video um i would say at least part two three four like my track videos um really good really interesting really fun i, I know i showed my Luna second ones but thunder hill i had a little more confidence of pushing my car to the limit um you know because there's little to no walls to hit during that time but check those videos out guys hope you enjoyed the towing video um, I just I did my best to include the fuel mileage while towing and try to cover a little bit more of the experience for those who are curious. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, thank you for watching.